Hi, this is Mike Collinson here again uh, with the fourth part of my greenhouse build. Now that the base is fully secure and uh, leveled up, it's now time to start the more interesting part of the job. So first of all, I'm going to cut up all the uh, all the different um, sections of the timber that are needed, uh, ready to construct the uh, the framework. I've adapted the sizes from the um, excellent uh, Anna White site that I shall. I'll put a link down beneath so you can uh, you can access it. Uh, but all the sizes and all the angles are there. Um, most of the angles are, are 22 and a half degrees. So uh, most chop saws have a 22 and a half degree stop. So it's a very very simple method of um, of, um, of cutting the necessary pieces. Here you can see I'm joining the longer pieces uh, with a half lap joint uh, and screwing these together. Uh, this forms quite a nice uh, strong bond. Time to start fitting some of these together. Uh, the first piece I'm uh, fitting together is the uh, the actual side, the side, um, the side rails or the the first side wall. With all the uprights cut the same length, it's just a simple matter of uh, nailing these together. As I carry on and make these, I do, I do uh, use a square to make sure they're uh, they're pretty much square. It's not uh, it's not so important at this stage, but it just makes things easier at a later date. I've marked out beforehand all the all the centres for the uprights, so it's uh, and uh, I've transferred them onto both both sides of the timber. So it's just a simple question of lining them up and uh, nailing them together.
here you can see one of the end frames that I've, uh, I've got assembled. Um, the uh, the angle joints uh, I'm fixing together with a, uh, a gusset plate. Uh, it's basically just an inch board that I'm going to uh, glue on uh, and screw down. Uh, I've glued, I use glue that's um, exterior quality, so it should be uh, it should make a good firm fixing uh, with plenty of screws. This will uh, this will keep it in the right position. It's always a good idea to pre-drill the uh, the holes for the screws before you screw it down. It just makes life so much easier. Now I have some of the frames made up. It's time to, to go and time to get some of this in position and and to fix it to the the framework on the floor. Uh, I've tried to make this into smallish sections that I can uh, that I can handle. If you make the sections too big, it really needs two men to uh, to handle them. But the sizes I've done, I can uh, I can manage quite well. I put out just a couple of temporary struts just to hold them upright so they don't fall over while I'm uh, while I make the first fix. Um, this way, it, uh, it if you're working on your own, it just makes that life that much easier. The first section is always the awkwardest, uh, but once you've got this in position and, uh, and temporary fix uh, in position, um, everything else uh, gets fixed to it, so it's, uh, it, all becomes, it all becomes firm. At this point, I'm just making sure that it's uh, it's roughly in a in an upright position. Uh, as I said before, um, all this will get adjusted later on. Um, but if it, if you put it into the uh, more or less the right position to start with, it saves a lot of problems later. Time to connect on one of the side panels uh, by uh, by buttoning this up and screwing it to the uh, the end section. It, it forms a, a nice right angle. It gives a secure um, secure basis to work from.
I'm using four inch screws to connect the two uh, the two sides together uh, and all in all it makes a very nice strong job You can see I've got the end uh, complete and the two sides and time to put the other end on now. Um, exactly the same as the uh, the first time. Uh, now I've got something to fix it to so it, it makes life uh, makes life a lot easier. Thank goodness for modern technology with, with decent cordless drills, uh, it makes the job so much easier. Time to attach the upper section. A little bit more tricky, but um, uh, because it's not too heavy, uh, I can manage it quite easily on my own. Uh, if this was made up in one section, I think the uh, the whole thing would become a little bit too heavy and uh, an awkward to do. Once I've got a couple of screws in this, it, um, it it's it's fairly firm, and I can carry on and get it uh, get it all fixed up. It's amazing the amount of screws you get through on a job like this. Uh, I'm well, well through a, a box of a hundred screws already. Well, that's the two end frames and the side frames. Uh, all fixed and in position. Uh, the next job before I uh, before I go ahead and put the rafters on will be to put some uh, some diagonal braces in both directions. Um, this is the point that I should make sure it's absolutely upright in uh, in in both 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 areas both directions. Uh, 